wonderful people of the internet. It is Thursday. We did not post a vlog today, Thursday, for you guys um, because I've just been so exhausted. We didn't pick up the camera the last couple days. All of us are sick. We have a cold, which is pretty good. Besides the girls getting hand, foot, and mouth, which was a super mild case, thank goodness, and like a few stomach bugs throughout the year, not, none of us have gotten like real colds or anything like that. Um, more than just like a little stuffy nose or something. Um, in over a year, I think. So, or about a year. I think we're doing pretty dang good then. But of course, really bad timing since we're about to bring a newborn into the house like any minute. I am 39 weeks today. I'm actually shocked this shirt still fits me. I've been carrying pretty small this time. By the end of the night, my bump just like doubles in size. These two are just coloring away, aren't ya? Oh, okay. Oh, that's fun. What did we look at for Nana and Papa? A house? Yeah. Yeah, we looked at a house. Y'all are probably a little bit confused now that I said we went to look for a house. So my parents' house is being built here, obviously, but it will not be done until February. So they're gonna rent month to month. So I went to go look at a property for my mom um, that's near here. And we haven't even announced yet. Things have just been so crazy. I keep forgetting to mention it. So we'll mention it now. My parents' house is under contract and they are moving here the last weekend of November. Um, I'm a little bummed that they're not gonna be here when the baby's born, but that's okay. It's gonna be very shortly after and they will get to be here for Christmas and Rev's birthday. It will be very exciting. Um, but yeah, so we are just like praising the Lord right now that their house went under contract and everything's been going good and that they will be here very shortly. I am home from work. Ariana and Rev are playing Mankala. Mankala? Mankala? I, I don't know Mancala. how you say it. Let's do it again! One, two, three, four, five. Five. So, if you went five spots, would you end here? Yeah! That's the one you want, right? One, two. Okay, so, I've started timing contractions. And three in, it told me to go to the hospital. <laughs> so, um, they're about three minutes apart, one minute in length. Which is like, you're supposed to go, I think, when they're like five minutes apart, one minute in length. I might be in labor, but I'm like kind of sick. <laughs> okay, but it went from like totally irregular to just three minutes apart, one minute in length. And like, I can talk through them. Like, I'm having one right now. And I can talk through them. So I'm just kind of like, meh. We might have a baby on the side of the road, guys. We'll keep you updated. We're on the way to the hospital. I'm still feeling like we're gonna get there and they're gonna be like, nope, you're good. They're still like three to four minutes apart, a minute in length. I've had a couple that were close to two minutes apart, but they're not painful. That's the thing is like, they are uncomfortable, that's for sure. But like sometimes if I'm super busy doing something, I don't even notice that it starts. Um, so like I missed like timing some of them. So we are in the triage room and uh, we've just been told there are no uh, delivery beds available currently because they're all being used. So, so yeah, and um, I am like a 3-4 with a bulging bag and 2-3 to three minutes apart. How do you feel about having three girls in a matter of a couple hours? A bit nervous. Why are you nervous? Oh, it's been so long since we had like a true baby. Yep. Do you think and she's gonna look just, just like them or do you I, think she's I, gonna look totally different? I think she's gonna look just like them. Just watch, she's gonna look totally she really, different. She probably will. And it's gonna be like mind blowing. <laughs> this room is like nuts. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice and I'm excited. And I love my nurse, she's really cool. And I'm really happy with the midwife that's on call. So like, hopefully now. She said I have a very high pain tolerance because she was feeling when I was having contraction. She said make sure I call her if I feel the baby coming out. Do you want to do a room tour? Sure, let's do a <laughs> cribs. It's our room. This is more of the nurse's stuff right here. This is where they would be monitoring me if I was being monitored. This is the bed that I would be using if I was going to be in the bed. This is here already because they know I deliver I go through labor real quick, 
so it's already in here. <laughs> if you've had kids, you know what this is. This is where they bring baby and check all her stats and stuff. You got like this like desk that's like bar height. Nice. Got this fancy little baby thing. That got little that chair. chair. This is where baby will be sleeping. This is the true crib. This birthing, well not birthing tub. They don't take me out of birthing tub. Laboring tub with balls. Do you want those? And guys, this bathroom is nuts. It's like you're in a hotel. It is nicer than CDH where we deliver the girls. How are you feeling? Like this tub is a beautiful thing in existence. It like takes all the pressure off my hips, which is really nice, and my like lower back. But I feel like a robot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at this. So I opted for just a hip lock because um, I don't want to be on IV the whole time, but because of EDS, I have a higher chance of hemorrhaging after birth. So I am gonna do Pitocin after birth to lower the risk of that because of EDS. Um, so they have the hep lock on me, but it can't get wet. The IV was more painful than my contractions. <laughs> like, it was so painful. Um, they couldn't get blood out of it. It was still working, like she could get stuff in it, but she couldn't get blood out, even trying to take my blood up here. It was really slow. So it is now 10 to 7 a.m. Uh, still no baby. She's definitely not coming as fast as Aerie. Nope, That's for sure. no doubt. So it is now quarter to nine on Friday, November 9th. The midwife came in and said, we're not having a baby right now. <laughs> um, basically said, Haryana was at three centimeters, three to, four. three to four when we first came in, and now she's at like two. Um, so kind of reverse the baby's gone back up instead of coming just staying down We're most likely going home at this point and then just gonna kind of wait it out She said she would be surprised if by Monday the baby isn't here yet But um, you know, it's kind of up in the air any words I'm Frustrated yeah, cuz I'm still having contractions Though they're getting like starting to get less and less now but I've had like consistent contractions for like seven hours. Uh, it's, we've been here for nine hours. Well, we have been back home for quite a while now. We took a nap. Ryan's parents still have the girls because neither of us really got any sleep last night. I'm still having contractions on and off, but definitely not regular anymore. Um, but I'm exhausted. I'm just, my body's tired. It's been like 14 hours now of contractions, whether consistent or not. <laughs> That's a lot. So, we're gonna end the vlog here though, because um, that was a lot of footage for one video. So if this baby girl does make it here before Monday, like my midwife thinks, you guys will see her on Tuesday. Uh, but we'll find out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. If even it though did, it oh. didn't exactly have the ending. We all we thought it would. <laughs> we appreciate though your prayers and your well wishes that you guys have been sending us on social media, so thank you very much. You sniffing? Is she gonna come out? Tell oh her what you're doing in there. Right. Tell her what you're doing in there. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you are new. And as always, we will see your wonderful faces on Tuesday. Bye.